www.woowoomedia.com. How many starseed traits do you have? By Greg Prescott, MS, editor, woowoomedia.com. Your starseed awakening. Have you ever caught yourself stargazing for no apparent reason? Have you ever wondered if your soul is from another star system? Did you ever feel like Earth is not your home planet? If you answered yes to any of these, then you may be a starseed. The term starseed outwardly seems very hippie-ish, but when you dissect the truth behind the energy signatures that we were each born into, then you would already know that our zodiac signs and, consequently, specific planetary influences already control what we look like, our qualities and faults, our life challenges, and so much more. However, while these planetary influences may only subjugate ourselves within this current incarnation to apply specific traits and qualities, they also show how we came from the stars. Thus, the question still remains, what solar system did our souls incarnate to before we came to Earth? If you look at the number of people on this planet, the number keeps growing, which means that new souls are incarnating every day as older souls depart. Where do these new souls come from and how new are they? Is it possible that some of these souls came from other star systems? Starseed Traits Are you a starseed? Have you ever caught yourself looking at a particular part of the nighttime sky without specifically knowing why? Is there a particular star, star system, or galaxy that seems very familiar to you? Do you sense a certain frequency among starseeds that you might not sense in other people? Have you experienced repetitive numerical synchronicities such as 1111, 1234, 555, etc. Do you feel like Earth is not your home? Have you ever wondered if your soul is from another star system? Many of us have led previous lives from other star systems. While the empirical scientist would undoubtedly question this belief, they cannot disprove it either. You just know, and there's no explanation necessary. These are some of the thoughts that are locked into your cellular memory as you begin to recall who you are, what your purpose is here, and where you came from. This is also why many starseeds are empaths. Many empaths came here to absorb the negative energies that are imposed on us by the ruling elite. They can also sense the difference in energy signatures between various planets and solar systems and innately know that this planet is not their home base. Many starseeds are discontent with the fear-laden propaganda on Earth and are beginning to remember the love vibrations from their planet of origin, which makes this incarnation so much more difficult for many starseeds because the love vibration is much denser here than where they came from. This, in turn, may cause depression for some starseeds, but will not be recognized or acknowledged by most therapists who are brainwashed by the DSM-V and Big Pharma. According to Brad Steiger, there are specific characteristics of starseeds. Starseed Characteristics Physical 65% are female, 35% are male. Compelling eyes. Great magnetism and personal charisma. Sensitive to electricity and electromagnetic fields. Lower body temperature than the norm. Chronic sinusitis. Extra or transitional vertebra. Hypersensitivity to sound, light, and odors. Swollen or painful joints pain in the back of the neck, adversely affected by high humidity, survived a life-threatening illness, involved in a severe accident or trauma, emotional. 
feel a tremendous sense of urgency to fulfill their missions, experienced a sense of oneness with the universe, may have difficulty dealing with or expressing emotions or have a chemical imbalance. Extraterrestrial Experiences All believe in life on other planets. Most believe that they have lived on another planet and it can tell you and can tell you about it. At an early age they had some kind of extraterrestrial, religious, or mystical experience. Believe that they have encountered alien entities of an extraterrestrial or multidimensional level or a being of light. Telepathic communication with an alien entity, physical or non physical. They receive some form of communication from a higher source. Out of body experiences, near death experiences, and out of body experiences. Metaphysics Belief in their spirit guides or angel. Believe that they have been blessed after the appearance of a holy figure. An intense religious experience. Belief in a God or creational source of energy. Belief in miracles. Had an invisible playmate as a child. Saw an elf, wee person, or fairy. Saw a ghost. Aware of parallel existence at this time in other worlds. Contact with a deceased loved one. Belief in reincarnation. Have past life memories or memories from parallel experiences. Psychic development. Perform healing on themselves and others. Experienced a white light during meditation. Experience clairvoyance and clairaudience. Prophetic dreams or visions that have come to pass. See auras. Practice automatic art. Practice automatic writing. When we look at the various ethnic diversities on this planet, along with the drastic changes in blood types and RH values, it becomes quite apparent that we are not all from the same place of origin. This is the most compelling evidence that many of us, if not all, are starseeds. If we were to believe that we all came from Adam and Eve, then surely our blood types would be the same and we would be of all of the same ethnic origin. It becomes more obvious that this planet is a galactic experiment to see how various star families will get along with each other. Through materialism and ego, along with the fear propaganda from the mainstream media, we have been flooded with negative stimuli, yet we remain resilient in our search for truth. Dogmatic establishments perpetuate these lies in their creation stories and have caused more deaths through inquisitions and crusades than virtually all illnesses combined. This is part of the divide and conquer mentality that has been reinforced by our mainstream media and educational facilities. Despite the onslaught of mind control, you inwardly know that this reality has been manipulated to be something that is distant from your place of origin, and this dissonance may have created separation between you and your friends or your family members. You are not alone. Many of us have hit the wall in terms of the relationships we have, whether that involves a divorce or losing friends that just don't get it. For many people, it seems like the universe has specifically chosen this point in time for us to face our biggest challenges, which is a blessing because it helps us to further our spiritual progression by being able to learn from these situations. Because of your starseed awakening, you have been able to recognize the difference between our perceived perception of reality and how that compares to where we originally came from. In many ways, your place of origin may reflect the similar values as when you were back with Source. Let's look at this from another perspective. Imagine you are on the other side with Source. After being here on Earth, in your previous incarnation, would you want to come back again? 
Let's twist this one more time. Imagine you are back with Source, and your previous incarnations were on planets that were solely based on high-frequency love vibrations. How tempting would it be to incarnate on Earth to experience polarity and duality, something that you have never experienced before? Of course, while you are on the other side, it seemed such an easy challenge because the only thing you have ever known is love. Ha! Now that you are here, do you want to come back again? I have a feeling that many will choose to come back because this planet gives us so many m more opportunities to grow spiritually than any other planet solely based on love. It is easy to bitch about our problems while we are here, but I can assure you that when you get to the other side, you will be immensely grateful for every opportunity you've had in this incarnation. As evidenced by past life regressions, many people have come here from other star systems to help raise Earth's vibrations as we near the end of the procession of the equinoxes and are heading into the age of Aquarius. Dolores Cannon calls these people volunteer souls. There is a video embedded called, Are You One of the People Who Heard the Call? Link below. Your purpose as a starseed may vary, but in general, you decided to come here not only to be a part of the great awakening process, but to help other people transcend into the, into the new paradigm shift. For some people, they are doing this as empaths who are absorbing many of the negative energies on this planet, while other starseeds are simply here to bring their light and energy. By now, you have already received your awakening codes through synchronistic numbers such as 1111, 444, 123, etc. These numbers have been genetically encoded within your DNA to allow you to awaken at this specific point in time. While many of us have sensed that something isn't right about this world for our entire lives, our official awakening was delayed to allow us to experience life in this third dimensional reality while helping to fulfill the soul contracts we made when we were back with Source. Since your starseed codes have been activated, you have learned more during this awakening than the rest of your life combined because your mind is now able to acknowledge and process this information much, much faster and easier than before. Additionally, you needed to gain these previous lifetime experiences to be able to differentiate the difference between your true reality and the subjective reality that has been forced, enforced upon you. The most difficult part of your starseed awakening is found within the relationship you, you've had and how they've changed since your awakening. You have chosen to follow your higher self, and because of this, many of your friends and family do not understand. For more on this, please read my n5d.com article, So, Your Spiritual Awakening Has Cost You Some Friends. Another hurdle you may encounter will be the deprogramming of the identity that you spent a lifetime to create. While you may be known as John or Jane Doe, with a specific title such as nurse, mechanic, or teacher. Those are part of this incarnation's identities that help to define who you are in this incarnation, but you have lived many lives with many different names and titles and have been both male and female in those previous lives. Your deprogramming becomes a little bit easier when you realize that ultimately you're a spiritual being having a human experience and that your ego identity is more ego based than spiritual. There is an awesome book called ET 101, the Cosmic Instruction Manual for Planetary Evolution, in which the author states that you are waking up to your true identity and forgetting everything you learned up until this point so that you can remember what you actually knew before you got here. You may dimly recall the saying in Rome, do as the Arcturians. If not, don't strain your memory. Even if you do remember, the humor of it may not be immediately evident. You are to disengage yourself from your old identity and disassociate from a declining Rome. After falling asleep profoundly, you are now expected to wake up equally profoundly. 
Now is the time to dismantle all false identity. Now is the time to forget that which has been learned in deference to that which is deeply known. Now begins the awesome process of altering human history. Now is the time for everything and now is here." End quote. In other words, you were programmed by this society to conform to its system of hierarchy and now it's time to reprogram your mind to what you have known for all of eternity. Don't worry about those who can't perceive a world without money or any of the other system controls that keep us enslaved as a society. Perhaps their codes will awaken soon, but it's not now. As long as we are buying into the system, we are a part of it. It's time to awaken to your true, divine self. Additionally, quote, The seated entities that comprise this mission were pre-encoded to awaken at this time. That means that their DNA structures were genetically designed to go off, like time bombs, at a designated moment in order to accommodate more light that the current human model was prepared to entertain. The time for detonation is now. As the transmutation of genetic structure unfolds throughout the planet, your pre-encoded genetic program will activate. For a time, you will groggily begin the process of deprogramming from the old systems. Your identity will begin its march out of the third dimension, while your personality and ego may be more inclined to, to cling to a sinking ship. As the old programs of a dying world begin to unravel, you may experience a little discomfort, such as your entire world falling apart. It may be useful during this transition to remember that you are an interdimensional master who is an expert at transmuting crumbling realities. You have done this many times before." Unquote. Innately, you sense that something big is about to happen. You realize that this is the reason why you are here and you desire to help facilitate the shift in consciousness in every way possible even if that means disassociating yourself from the mainstream societal ways of life. From this point forward, your main goal as a starseed is to raise global consciousness. Through thought and intention, we can change this paradigm, but first we need to disassociate ourselves from the current brainwashing and societal expectations of what life is supposed to be in this third dimensional reality. Also, continue to be aware of numerical synchronicities that occur in everyday life because each one you experience will help you to reinforce your acknowledgement and purpose as a starseed. Lastly, be true to yourself, even in the face of adversity and especially when others challenge your beliefs. Like Gandhi said, even if you are the minority of one, the truth is still the truth. Click here for more articles by Greg Prescott about the author. Greg Prescott, MS, is the founder and editor of N5D and Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit, as well as co-founder of WooWooMedia.com. He hosts a weekly, weekly spiritual show on N5D Radio and promotes spiritual, metaphysical, and esoteric conferences in the United States through N5D events. His love and faith for humanity motivates him to work relentlessly in humanity's best interests 12 to 15 hours a day, 365 days a year. Please like and follow N5D on Facebook, Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit on Facebook, as well as Woo Woo Media on Facebook. The End